I love getting to share the behind the scenes of my content and my business here with you on the channel. So I thought today I would share a behind the scenes coaching call that I did recently with students in my profit podcasting program. This is my digital course that teaches you how to start, launch, and market a podcast in 30 days or less. And whenever you join the program, you get to have these group coaching sessions once a month with me where I ask any and all questions you have about your content, your business, and your podcast. And so today's call is about private podcasts versus public podcasts, limited series. We kind of went in a few different directions, but I thought it would be really fun to share questions from real people who have podcasts and the things that they struggle with. And because I know that so many of these questions, if one person has them, there's probably dozens of people out there that have them as well. So I hope that you find today's video helpful. Let's get right to it. Do you have anything that's going on with you, Melissa, right now? I wanted to ask you a question because I have been listening to your podcast. Longtime fan, (laughs) longtime caller. (laughs) Um, I (laughs) I listened to the one with the um, with the girls about that you just released this week, right? And you had talked about they had been talking about, and to add clarification for people that are watching the um, the recording, it was that they had a limited um, edition. So many episodes. Yep. And you had brought up in that talking about seasons. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm in season one because in Buzzsprouts, you put in your season and your episode and that in a new year, you might change to be a different season. But then I was thinking, oh, does that then change the numbers and start you mm-hmm. again? And so there's probably unless I would have like a reason to have it be by years, which I don't really, is it best to leave it just be season one all the way through? Yeah. So, um, this is such a good question. I don't think it's one we've talked a lot about. Um, I am in season one and I'm on episode 400 something of Mm -hmm. the profit podcast. So I -hmm. never change to seasons, but what I see people do is Typically they have a time frame in mind where they're like, I think of it like a TV show, like something that's mm-hmm. running on TV and you know, you know, Grey's Anatomy is going to start in August and it's going to, you know, have a mid season break in December, but then they're going to come back in January and then they're mm-hmm. only going to run until April or May. So mm-hmm. that is still what I would consider a full season. And mm-hmm. then when that cuts off, it starts the new season and the next, you know, summer run. So I have seen people do that where it's, um, they commit and it's either a time of year that they're going to do so many episodes, or it's just, we're doing 10 episodes of this and we're going to launch it and see what happens. And then we'll decide, oh, are we coming back for a second season mm-hmm. or, you know, they give themselves this break. Um, Mm -hmm. so, I mean, you could absolutely do that, but it's not from a standpoint of how your show is operating today. It's a new year. You don't have to start a new season. Okay. Okay. Keep it going. Yeah. 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 That's, that makes sense. And I do remember when you were talking about like, um, I do remember you having conversations of thinking about it that way, as far as like, and I can see where story, you know, some of the like different ones would be about a topic all the way through and then yeah, start the new season with another one. Um, yeah. but now where I'm doing every week and the topics kind of shift, but they're going to be continuous. Then I, that was m- my main question just to make sure I was thinking I was going to do it only because it was there when I upload, <laughs> yeah. I was like, Oh, I guess season two will be, <laughs> and then I'll be able to say two seasons, but I don't need to. I'm going to add, I'm adding that into my content calendar right now to talk about seasons again, because it's a good question. And it's one that, I mean, I've covered it a few times here and there, but I think that it's one of those that I see more and more limited series pop up. Like what, you know, Zafira <laughs> and Kirsty, like they're incredible. Like I would yeah, love for them me. to have an ongoing pot. It's like, why don't you have an ongoing podcast? But I have to also understand that some people's capacity for creating is very different than mine. Like my Mm -hmm. entire business is around content creation. Mm -hmm. Most people's businesses aren't around content creation. It's Mm -hmm. just a piece of their business. So Mm -hmm. I love the idea of doing limited series podcast. And 
Another point on that is whether you want it to be private or public. This is Mm -hmm. another question that I'm getting a lot more is, Mm -hmm. well, I want to launch something and I want it to do this four part limited series. Like how do I set this up? So I'm seeing these questions a lot more. Yeah. If y'all have any questions about that too, I'm happy to go in that direction. Well, I guess like in the, the, the private part, what I'm seeing is people using podcasts more as a lead generator or an actual, um, resource they're selling, right? Like, and usually in conjunction with something else, um, because I still think you have to show why would I want to this as opposed to all the free content on a podcast, right? Exactly. Um, That's how most people I'm seeing it. But yeah, that is interesting to think about um, and would be good to know the kind of, and and I believe you probably do some of that in the course, but it's been so long since I've like looked at it from that point of view of like, um, sharing how to access those ones when you're doing yep. a private one. And, and it would be kind of like how you do a course, I would guess. Right. So you have, you're hosting the podcast, but then how are they getting the link? How are they getting entrance? Well, they always have access. So yeah, yeah it just depends. It depends on which platform you use on how you can set up your workflow. So if you go with Hello Audio, which is what I always recommend for people if they don't have Kajabi, because people will say, well, I signed up for Kajabi just to do podcasts. And I'm like, that is way too expensive for you just to do podcasting. It's way too like, unless you're already using Kajabi, then you can use the private podcast feature. But if you're not go with Hello Audio and um, the way that they have it set up. So let me do Kajabi first because it's one I'm most familiar with and the one I've done a lot more than Hello Audio. But with Kajabi, you set it up just like any other offer. And if you're using Kajabi as part of your email, like you're doing your email marketing through there, then you can set up your forms through there and the automation where you want people to go, the sequences, and you can have the link in there of like, okay, you go here, you do this. You could even link to a Kajabi how-to video, like how to access this on your phone or, you know, have the podcast on the go. But Kajabi is great for those types of resources. But I have to say, I think Hello Audio has a great setup too for just private podcasts. So being able to this is just a private podcast. You're using it as a lead magnet. And I haven't checked in a while, but I would imagine that their resources have gotten even better because I remember you would get an email, like once you subscribe to a show, I want to say you would put in your name and your email. And once you subscribed, I think Hello Audio would send something that was like, here's how to access it. Like it was a templated email that would go to your listeners or your subscribers. And it would very easily tell them, here's how to add the RSS on Apple podcast, you know, or whatever player you were using to do it. So they both are complementary to how easy they are to set up. It's just a matter of which, which one do you have currently? If you're using Kajabi, definitely just use Kajabi product to to do it. And then hello audio is easy to do if you're not using Kajabi. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to look into that. That's not something that I had thought about, um, except for I am working on a membership now that will be leading into the course. Yeah, it's coming. (laughs) I'm putting it now. It's going to be January. We're going into it. We're doing it right, Carrie. We're doing it. We are. We're doing it. And it's going to be what it is in January and it will evolve. And it's been a long time coming and it's just a matter of, yeah, getting it all done. But the fact that I I love doing the podcast and what a great way to kind of add to little tidbits. Almost I'm seeing it even like I'm thinking about you with the potty report being very intentional about the content to yeah. the people that were looking for the little tidbits. Um, I can see something like that being really good um, to and and being an addition while I'm sitting down and doing my bigger podcast to then do a few little bites for each week would be yeah. kind of neat. I hope that you found some value in hearing the questions today and my answer to them. If you have any questions or you want to know more about how you can join our group coaching sessions, go to crystalprofit.com forward slash course to learn all about my profit podcasting program. And I am just so proud of this program. It's something that has helped hundreds of people launch their shows, but not only that, not only just launch their shows and get it out there, but 
continue to have success years later. I have many alumni who are still podcasting today. It's not like they just started it and we're like, eh, this isn't for me. Like they have kept going. A lot of them are in the top one, five, 10% of their top charts. And I'm so excited and so proud of them. But that's all I have for you today. So again, go to crystalprofit.com forward slash course. And if this is your first time tuning in, make sure you hit that subscribe button wherever you are following this video. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.